Well, here we got we're we're in lovely old house country. Here we've got um, limestone and brick and timber framing and. Round here, which is the house we're looking at, we've got, um, it was thatched and the walls have been raised and everything. And then somebody's come down and they've timber framed and uh, cement rendered over. And this, this is cracking. Um, if you look down here, you'll see underneath we've exposed, I don't know how many layers, I think there's about three layers of cement render, um, the usual thing. That is what three inches thick, um, and you can see the various layers of render that are being put one on top of the other. Uh, quite why anybody would want to do that, I have no idea. Um, but you can see underneath it is absolutely beautiful limestone. You can see that it's it's in great shape. Um, little clenches here just to level the stones up um, and down the bottom we've even got good old Wally Damp Man we've got a, a huge great hole in it there and a huge great hole in it there and, and, and this is the, the gunk that they squirted into the hole at some point in time uh, that was supposed to damp proof it apparently um, and you can just see the back of the, the damp proofing stuff in that hole but Hey ho, you know, it didn't work very well because all above it, it's sopping wet mortar. There you go, you can see it. It's absolutely horrible. It's just mud. Um, so a very, very wet wall. But you know what? I think it'll dry out very quickly. It's dried out um, while we've been here. Today we just chopped a bit of the stuff off. Um, and you can see the stuff that I've just pulled out here it's wet and you look at some of the other stuff it's already dried out and it's only had a couple of hours in the sun today it's about zero degrees but it's nice and sunny and dry so there you go this house is on the way to drying out what we're going to do is just get this stuff off um, unfortunately all the way around but we'll do it and then we've got to sort the roof out some idiot of a surveyor uh, didn't figure the roof uh, was completely unsupported. We've got a purlin up there that we just measured. Um, it's about six and a half metres long and it's four inches wide and it's holding that lot. So a bit of work to do there. But other than that, brilliant. So a great day and uh, we'll go and find something else to talk about.